Good morning. In this video, I will talk with you about our amazing road trip in India from my city of Lakes Bhopal, which is in central India, to a city in Himalayas called as Munsiari. It's in the state of Uttarakhand. The road accident with cow happened on the highway near a city called as Dholpur. As you can see from our route map that we first visited Jaipur to attend a family wedding before proceeding to Munsiari. Now, to give you a visual perspective of Bhopal and Munsiari, this is how they actually look like. So, uh, with me on this trip was my mom who is 80 years old, but uh, I always remind her that from her, she is still 16 years old, and my elder brother. We used a small car Suzuki Alto for this trip. So we had actually extended this car beyond its known capable limits on this trip because the uh, road environment in Himalayas is very harsh. So we started this trip on 23rd of November 2021 from Bhopal and came back to Bhopal on 24th of December. So in total it was 31 days of road trip. This trip was more special because we had an accident and we got its video on the dash cam of our car. So let's start it now. So guys, on the morning of 23rd of November, we started our journey at around 11 a.m. in the morning. I always plan to start the early morning for the journey at around 6 to 7 a.m. But uh, since my mom, she takes time to get ready for the journey due to her old age. So it's usually late and we start every day by 12 in the afternoon. So our first day destination was Gwalior. Here check out this highway. It's a four lane highway. It's having a road divider too. So not much danger of the cattle to cross the road. The motorists here, the people here, they rarely follow any traffic signs or traffic rules. So, it's really very difficult to drive on any Indian highway, especially when you are on the highway, it's very difficult and uh, when you are in the city, then uh, obviously you have a lower speed limit, so it's easier to drive in the city, but it's uh, really very difficult to drive on any Indian highway and uh, far more difficult to drive on uh, mountainous roads because they are uh, all they are in very bad shape usually they are in very bad shape now some of them have uh, been in a better shape of lately but uh, usually they are in a very bad shape and uh, with people not following the traffic rules and traffic signs it becomes very dangerous on the mountainous roads and especially when you are driving on the mountainous roads at night So guys, uh, we reached uh, near to Gwalior at around uh, 10 o'clock at night after driving about uh, 450 kilometers from Popal. So check out that the highway near Gwalior is a two-lane highway. Also check out that the blinding headlight glare from incoming vehicles. Just imagine if some cow or any human being crossing this road is not seen due to this blinding headlight glare of vehicles. The rules about the headlights are rarely followed, unfortunately. So, here at Gaulier, we searched for the hotel to take a rest at night, and then we will start out the next day towards Thalpur, which is en route to Jayapur. So guys, after a night rest in the hotel at Gwalior, 
we started towards Kolpur and course in Jaipur at about 12 pm in afternoon the next day. On the Indian highway, it's a big challenge to search for the gas station which sells gasoline. Because many gas stations on Indian highways sell only diesel and since our car runs on gasoline, so it's a challenge to search the gas station selling gasoline. After that, uh, we had lunch at Dholpur and then again on the highway towards Jaipur. So check out this highway at the outskirts of Dholpur. It's of two lanes only and the eyes are blinded from the headlight glare of incoming traffic in the late evening time. Also check out that it's an evening to late evening time. And uh, this time is known for very poor visibility for the human eye. Because during the late evening hours, there is not much contrast between the object and the background. The pitch black night has the advantage of having a high contrast between the black background and the object when the headlight shines on the object. But during the evening time, the, high, the headlights are not much useful because of the low contrast between the background and the object. In this case, the object is the cow and the background is the glaring headlights of the incoming traffic. The glaring headlights makes it far more difficult uh, to spot any object at this time and in this case, the cow happened to be at the middle of the road between my eyes and the incoming headlights of the incoming traffic. This particular dashcam video clip was very difficult to watch when I searched it on the database of our dashcam. The beautiful sunset is there but there is a horror hidden into it. And still for me, it's not an easy one to watch after a few months because the same old horror of trauma gets hold of me. Our speed on this highway was around 60 to 75 kilometers per hour. Now, check out that the farm tractors on the highway don't have any red danger lights on the back of their vehicles. My mother was sitting on the front row of the seats besides me enjoy the sunset and she shared the same shocking moments with me. <laughs>
this was about our cow accident on the day 2 of our trip to Munsiari. More about our trip on later videos. Thank <laughs> you.